Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD with a performance video on the all new 2012 Retina Display MacBook Pro. This is the baseline 2.3 gigahertz quad core i7 model, eight gigs of RAM and a 256 gigabyte SSD, which is why we are starting off with a boot up speed test. And as you can see, it is wicked fast. We are loaded up and ready to go into line in just under 15 seconds. Jumping on to another SSD benchmark, we are now in disk speed test by Blackmagic Design. This is free in the App Store if you guys want to check it out yourselves. For the write speeds, we're getting around 400 megabytes a second, and then for the read performance, it's a little higher, coming in around 450 megabytes per second, which is around three to four times faster than a traditional moving parts hard drive, and then about two times faster than Apple's previous SSD, so it is a significant improvement. Next up, Geekbench, which pretty much tests the entire system's performance. This is the 64-bit version, and I was able to get a score of 12,034, which if I'm not mistaken is pretty close to the top-end iMac from 2011, so being the base model, this performs extremely well. We're going to go ahead and hop on to Novabench, which is a little newer than Geekbench, but it is free in the Mac App Store, so if you guys want to download it yourselves, let me know your score, hit me up with a comment down below. For this machine, I got a score of 1,087, and again, let me know how your system score with a comment down below. Now a lot of you guys have been asking for a Photoshop test and while this is being run on CS6 it will work with prior versions so I have a link down below you guys can run it as well and for this benchmark we got a final score of 28.6 seconds. Next up we're on to Cinebench 11.5 which not only tests the CPU but the GPU as well so this is the Nvidia GT650M with 1 gig of VRAM and you can see we get a score of 33.86 frames per second so it's not too shabby for a laptop GPU. For the CPU section, we've got a score of 6.12. You can see this is a quad core processor and it has eight threads. Now what that means is even though there are four physical cores, there are eight threads. So the OS will see all those eight threads and process off them, giving you better performance. Now for the second to last test, we are using Final Cut Pro 10. And what I did was I opened today's earlier unboxing project, cut it down to 30 seconds, set a timer and exported. This is exported in full 1080p H.264 and it actually exported faster than the project itself, which is all kinds of awesome. So to close this video up, we're going to end it with an SSD stress test. So we're going to select every application, open it up, and let the MacBook Pro do its thing. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it and you're feeling like being awesome, make sure to hit that like button as it does help the channel out. If you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you do so so you don't miss any of the MacBook Pro coverage. If you guys are interested in picking this up, I have the Amazon link where we actually save a couple hundred bucks because you don't pay tax. And if you guys missed the unboxing from earlier, make sure you watch that right here, and I will see you guys later.